Hello friends, good evening, happy Friday, happy good Friday. Hope um, I'm coming through loud and clear and you guys can see me. Hi Anne, Dandy, Valerie, who else is here already? Kari, Robin, so good to see you guys. How was your Friday? Um, and we're here for part two. And just so you know, I have fussy cutting and stuff to do because I have uh, been working all day on inventory and finishing my Amy Tan layouts for the class kit. So I started it, but then, you know, family expects to be fed, all that stuff <laughs> happens. So um, like I said, tonight's going to be pretty relaxed. I was going to make the layout on my own and thought, hey, if you want to join me and hang out, we can do it together. And uh, even if you're cleaning toilets or folding laundry tonight and you feel like just keeping me company, I will love that. So hello, hello. Hi, Kim, Sarah, Jose, Tina. Lots of you guys are here tonight. Hi, hi, hi. So talk to me, Scarol and Angie. So good to see you guys. My hands are so dry. Anybody finding that? The weather, right? Craziness. So thank you already. I'm seeing some of you are already giving the thumbs up on uh, YouTube and that is awesome and thank you for every single one of you who comments who says hello it's nice when uh, you introduce yourself and let me know where you're watching from or even just say good evening or good morning whatever time it is in your part of the world I love it and um, it's super awesome when you do uh, the interaction because like I say every single video it super helps so you worked on some cards. I love it. Just receive your first dose of color study. Yay. That's super exciting, right? Uh, Carrie just got home, had to drive your daughter uh, for a massage. Awesome. Yes, you had your, you made your Easter meal today. I think a lot of people colored eggs. This is the day we used to do um, egg dyeing. And I bought all of the stuff, but forgot eggs. So that didn't happen. And then lately in my life, I work too much. We don't do the normal things that you guys do at home. Um, this past year, I can say I don't, and I feel guilty when I stop working to go do life things. So, um, excuse me if I'm a little tired tonight, cause I feel it right. Um, I feel it. It's catching up with me a little bit. So I will be excited to sit and finish this layout. I grabbed some letter stamps. And I link them in the description of the video. So if you love the Carrie Bradford stamps I'm using or the stamps from scrapbook.com, I did link them. Um, the only thing I didn't mention, because I said I was probably going to stamp some leaves. And remember, you can either stamp the leaves or you can grab a piece of cardstock and do the little cheat that we do with a circle punch or hand cut them. But I think I will want to put a little bit of color on here. And the two ink colors that I grabbed, if you want to use these, are Cracked Pistachio and Evergreen Bow in Oxide. Okay, so I have those. I have some stamps. I have my sewing machine set up behind me, and fingers crossed it works because I haven't done any of the things other than threading it properly that you guys suggested because... Right. It's when I have it out, I'm excited to do it. And then I put it away and forget all about it. Carrie's a new grandma. Congratulations, Carrie. That's very exciting. Hi, Shelly. How are you? And Diane, so good to see you guys. Um, the other thing I grabbed and might use is gold glaze and my stencils. So it's just going to be kind of, um, I, I grabbed a thicker for titles and, ooh, I grabbed some stickers, but where did I leave them? I can see them They're across the table from me. So I'll grab those as well. Just some color, no storyteller, just cause I had it here. So I grabbed it, but, um, we're going to do the things. I'm going to cut flowers for the first part of this. So if you haven't done yours yet, or you're still kind of catching up, you are, um, welcome to come back in a little bit. Cause I do, I have to cut my flowers out so it's going to take me a little while yeah. I tried to start it today but it just didn't happen all right um it just didn't happen but I will be cutting out what I need as I go and then the rest I'm going to keep and do a card and probably either a mini book page an art journal page or um one or a traveler's notebook something else that's small 
a photo based project and then I will make for sure for my memory decks a card. So just so you guys know where we're at. But thanks for joining me tonight. I know a lot of you were here yesterday and uh, I know a lot won't be here tonight because you are celebrating your holiday, your Easter holiday. So uh, let's just get started. I don't have much to say. Any questions before I flip it around? Thank you for liking my orange sweater. It's one of my favorite colors too. I love orange. And then I put my rainbow earrings on tonight so I could channel my uh, love of rainbow. My husband looked at me, he goes, what are you, what are you doing? And I said, I'm doing a live. Uh, I decided that one wasn't enough this week that I want to go and hang out with my friends again. He's upstairs kidding. So you'll probably hear some banging and stuff. That's Rich playing with the paper and stuff. So yay, very exciting. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Um, are there any questions? I don't think I saw anything here. But uh, let's do this, okay? Let's do the things. And I'll keep reading your comments so if I miss anything. So flip it around to the camera. There we go. And I will move my... You're giggling at my paintbrush man behind me. Yes, I do have lots of things. I'm a lover of the containers. So um, there are, I just showed the kids when we were at the mall. I love those tiki containers. Have you guys seen them when you're out? There's a whole set of Golden Girl tiki glasses that were in, um, I saw them in, uh, I think, Home Sense or Winners which would be Home Goods or TJ Maxx in the US. And I didn't buy it and I should have. And then uh, yesterday when I was out with Devin, I saw the uh, Mandalorian child in a little tiki mug and I showed both the kids and said that would be a great thing to get your mother for her birthday. So we'll see. I don't often hold my breath, but I put it out there and now I hope that uh, one of them was paying attention to me. But, uh, you know, kids are like, just a sec, I'm going to grab a few things. Because I was just thinking about it. If I'm going to stamp those leaves, I need to have some cardstock. And that's just cardstock because I'm just going to stamp and cut out. So if you joined me last night, we created this background that is an ombre effect. And I love some of the color choices that you guys have used. It's awesome. Uh, that was a plan for the vintage cottage. Yes, vintage cottage. I everything is here except for one Heidi swap paper that needs to go in the kit. And um, I'm going to start working on that because here is my plan, friends. I changed my mind since last night. I am going to get everything kitted and at least get a couple pages done so you can see what it looks like and will look like. And I'm going to post all of the kits that so that'll be the amy tan kit the um disney kit the layout um it's very few kits but the layout class using um pink fresh studio and i'm going to uh also post the vintage cottage so i will be sending a newsletter out um the heidi swap line is her new line and it is part of the vintage cottage because you know I like to mix my lines up when I, this one is all Amy Tan. So when we do the flip book, it is all Amy Tan. And I was able to make, they're almost done, two double page layouts and a single out of the scraps. So when this kit goes up, it will be the flip book, two double page layouts and a single page layout. The um, Disney album will be this awesomeness so i know a lot of you are are uh, rescheduling your disney trips or even haven't maybe scrapbooked your um photos this will be awesome it's a lot of fun lots of flips and flaps and layers and fun so i will be adding this one the amy tan the layout which will be like one of those super layouts i don't know if it'll be 10 pages but it'll be a lot of page. it might be 10 again we'll see for the um pink fresh studio and i forgot what the name of it is nat if you let the the people know what the name is of that class or that uh product line i forgot keeping it real 
So there'll be layout class for that. And I ordered pretty much all of the things. And for the keeping it real, you get the full paper pack. And we're going to make layouts out of that. And then I am going to post um, probably Monday is the day. And I'll send a newsletter out tomorrow or Sunday. We'll post the Vintage Cottage, which is a combination of Simple Stories Vintage Cottage and Heidi Swap. So it all of them will be going on plus the store restock. So then that saves you guys um, shipping costs because you can get a bunch of that stuff in a box, right? So um, I won't combine it with color study. That's going to go on its own because that one is just a big beast for me. It's going to be too big. But if you did order just add-ons and not kits because there will be... Um, color study extras and stuff that are getting posted. Uh, some of the mixed media and some of the stencils and stamps that aren't in the kits. Um, if you want to add those, I will add those to your color study. Just send me a message to Vicki Booten Kits, V-I-C-K-I-B-O-U-T-I-N, kits, K-I-T-S, at gmail.com. If you do place an order that you need me to do something special with, okay? So um, it will all be coming. If you haven't signed up for the newsletter, make sure that you do that because all the details will go out in the newsletter and the kits will be posted on vickybooten.com Monday. I'm aiming for Monday, okay? So you're going to try to sign up for all of them. They'll be fun, right? If, you, if you're looking to do paper crafting and my kits are very reasonably priced for what you get in there like i say if once you price it out it's all in canadian dollars once you price the kits out you will find that um you pretty much get me for free so the instructions and all of them will have a live class that you can either watch live or recorded it'll be there for you until you're ready to use it um except for the pink fresh one all i'm going to do for that one is the paper cutting so we'll do all the paper cutting in a video and then i'll do a walk through of the classes because i feel once you get the paper cut for a layout class you'll be fine to put it together and if i uh, point out any of the little details that you need that that's enough and um seeing that i have so many classes to do i've just kind of run out of time but the other classes will all have a um, day planned and I will, when I post the kits for sale, I will also post the details for what weekend I will be teaching the live class. But like I said, say you have a birthday party to go to or you're working and you can't make it, all of the videos are recorded. So even if you can't make it live, you can watch it after, right? Thanks, Kari. Can't wait to get the color study. I know, and I'm very excited. So I was out um, sorting everything and pulling all of the extras for the uh, store that I'm going to be adding and uh, sorting the color study. And we are going to, we're finishing, Rich is, is up there finishing Amy Tan because some of the paper was back ordered. And then tomorrow he's starting on the simple vintage cottage. And then we are kidding color study. So it will all be going, everything's going to be going out in the next two weeks. So, and then we already have our date for our color study weekend. It's going to be awesome. And for some of you guys in Australia and the UK, or you've bought all of your product already and you want access only, it will be posted as soon as I get the instructions written because I have, I don't know, four classes to finish. But just know that that one, if you are interested and you love Pink Fresh Studio, um, it will be the one I probably won't be doing for a little bit. So there will only be a sample of what's in the kit and stuff that I'll be showing. I won't be showing finished projects with that just yet. Um, but I want to get it so it saves you because it saves, right? Uh, U.S. is $20 Canadian shipping. So if you ordered all of them individually, really, in the end, you end up get, getting a kit for what you're saving in shipping costs, right? Um, and then for my Canadians, so it all goes in one box. I just figured I might as well get them kitted and ship it, even though the instructions aren't done yet or I haven't created the projects. Because a lot of you just buy the kits. And there's very limited amount of some of them anyway. 
And if they don't sell right away, it's fine. They can just sit in the store. And then I know a lot of people need to see a finished project. And I'm okay with that. I just feel like I need to get the stuff moving. The delays have been crazy with shipping, right? Um, your little your little bag is out. I did order one and use it the same way. Avoid so many. Oh, this one. Yes. Um, remember, I bought this in Italy. And if you can order these, I love it. It's See, that's the name. It's an Italian company. It's washable paper. So you could actually wash this. It's pretty awesome. And it's U-A-S-H Mama. So W-W-W-U-A-S-H Mama. Uasha Mama. Uash Mama. And I bought a bunch of them, but I love it for my scraps because then I don't have to pick them all off the table, right? So let's just do, because I can always go in. I don't have to glue these down right now. And if I want to um, cut them better, I can. But I just want to get a good variety of the colors out. And then we can start talking about what I was thinking about. I was dreaming about this layout and how I wanted to finish it. Because um, I always find when I do this stuff with you guys, I want you to be able to see how it elevates once you add a couple of layers. So I grab the gold glaze. I might add, because I think this could be really pretty on here. So I might stencil brush a little bit of that on top. I grabbed these thickers. This is what I'm going to use for my title because I'm really liking the neutral with the craft if I use them. And these are the stencil or stamp sets that I grabbed. So this Carrie Bradford uh, extra or thick XL with the outline. And then the same kind of idea with these scrapbook.com ones with the bold caps and the outlines. So we'll see. I feel like I want to stamp tone on tone words on some of these strips. I think it will really elevate it and make it look cool. Any questions? Am I missing anything? Sign you up for all of it. You're awesome. I know it's going to, it's going to be tough, but, um, there are going to, how wide are my paper strips? Um, and I might change this Shelly. So I'll tell you what they are right now. Cause I just cut them randomly but I don't know if they're going to stay. This one probably will get cut unless I use that bold title on here. So maybe it won't. But to give you an idea, and one of you posted it and tore the ends of these, and I was digging that. So I'm probably going to tear my ends as well because that was a great idea. So this one is about two and three quarters. This one is about mm, one, two, three, four, five eighths. One and five eighths. Three quarters, half an inch, um, one and five eighths, an inch, let's say inch and a quarter or inch and a half. Say inch and a half for that one and then we'll say for this one inch and a quarter, even though it's not right on. But then I'd have to get into some weird math there. <laughs> so it's, I'm just going to go with that, okay? So I'm just going to cut a few more because we don't need all of them. And if I need more, I can always come and cut once we're building. Okay. So did anyone watch last night or miss it last night, but were able to um, do the homework so that you can play along tonight? And if you have any questions about the kits, or I know a lot of you have been looking for different um, art crayon colors and the gold glaze and some other things i'll be adding all of those things they're sitting in the house there's a lot of things that might look like they're out of stock online but i just need to um inventory some of the new stuff and then i'll get it up in the store but there's some really fun stuff really fun stuff some fun stuff from some of the new american crafts collections things that I wanted to use. So I figured um, I might as well get a couple extra. And like I said, just a couple. I don't have a ton of the things, but I know I will start using it and you guys will be looking for it. And if you have a hard time finding it, then at least uh, if you're already ordering something else, you can throw it in your box. It's kind of my thinking. 
I ordered some paint brushes from um, one of the wholesalers as well. So if you've been struggling to find some paint brushes, I did that. I think that American Crafts discontinued mine. That's why you don't see me really use them a lot on these videos because I know somebody's going to say, where can I get those? And you can't anymore. But remember, we talked about this. A lot of things with American Crafts are one and done. It comes out and then it's gone. But I have noticed tons of our local scrapbook stores have got color study in this week. So make sure that you get in touch with them, hit them up. They will be happy to sell you all of the things. I know that a couple have messaged me that they have um, got the product in. So definitely check that out. Everything is shut down here again, but I think the stores probably can still have a couple of people in. I don't think stores are completely closed, just like nail salons, hair salons, gyms, restaurants, all of the ones that have been suffering <laughs> like mad already. But yes, if you weren't here last night, I live in Ontario, Canada, and we are in lockdown again for a month. So that means we're not going anywhere. So I'll be here crafting with you guys. Um, I wish we had an LSS here in Southern California. Um, I'm trying to remember. There is one store. Is it? I don't know if it's Southern California. Um, but I taught at years ago in California. But yeah, there used to be, right? I think California used to be a pretty hopping uh, scrapbook place but um, nowadays like it's sad because if you don't have a store you miss that you know the camaraderie and going in and being able to touch the stuff but um, it is a plus that there are so many online options and we're keeping them all alive right you guys are keeping me alive it's why I'm able to come in and do these because the uh, kit sales is really how I get paid. It's the only reason I can do this as a job is um, the stuff that I do online, my classes, because normally it would be a lot of in-person, right? That I could go to some of the local scrapbook stores and teach, but I don't know when that's going to happen again. How are we doing? Yay, color studies coming in next week. I love it. Are you in the Toronto area? I'm in near Niagara Falls. So um, an hour outside of Toronto. I live in a city called St. Catharines. And it is on the highway in Ontario. So if you come to visit and you go to Niagara Falls and then on to Toronto, you would drive almost past my house because you have to go through St. Catharines to get there. So we are on the way. Whoop, that one just shot across. I think it might have even landed in my pop. I can't look at friends. I keep telling you, oh, I'm just going to cut them out quick, and then I can't not fussy cut. What is wrong with you, Vicky? Did everyone do all their fussy cutting? So you're like, Vicky, you slacker. We got this all done today, and now you're way behind. Okay, let's get a couple of these here. I keep thinking today's Saturday, so I was just going to ask you guys if you watch Tim or Lil. <laughs> That's not till tomorrow, right? Just finished my last flower. Yay! You ordered the color study class, but also ordered a lot of stuff from a cherry on top. I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed, Cindy, because you know, if you follow me and you've taken, have you, you've taken my classes before, right? Um, we're going to use all of it. So it, I'm still going to be doing, using it for a whole month, creating layouts and during lives. So if you ordered the color study kit, and then you go on and you decide, oh, I'm going to order a little bit more or I need the ready-made backgrounds or whatever you need from there. I'm going to be using it all week. The design team, we're planning something for National Scrapbook Day. I actually, as I say that, I'm going to do that um, this weekend too, design team ladies. Um, 
I will have your boxes in the mail for Tuesday so that uh, you can get excited and start planning what you want to make because I know they inspire you guys so much. Um, uh, Natalie, Nicole, and Mari make some beautiful projects. And uh, I know that they're like, come on, we've been waiting forever. Is our, are our boxes coming? Yes with a few surprises because I did order you guys a couple other things to add in there. So I will be doing that. But uh, yes, National Scrapbook Day, we're going to make it like a color study celebration. Uh, the day before that Friday, I'm going to do some kind of special color study um, little mini class. And I'm going to have some free cut files. And I know that Natalie's going to do something and Nicole, and I'm sure Mari will have something fun she's planning. And uh, we have giveaways and I've um, given some stuff to give away for the, the girls as well. So it will be fun. And I thought we'd do it Friday because, well, that weekend is the color study weekend for the class. So we'll be doing that, right? Can't wait. Um, I order from Cherry on top. Yes, it's so exciting. Um, when is National Scrapbook Day? It's, I think, am I right, guys? May 1st? Is it May 1st, May 2nd? Was that today? I don't think so. I hope I didn't miss it. Uh, I hope I didn't miss it. Good morning in Japan. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Okay, so let's finish this guy. I think I have lots. I don't think I'll need all of these, but I still have tons of them over there, stamp lots. So let's cut this one out quickly, and then we're going to start the layout. And if you are doing something else because you were um, better prepared and you already cut your flowers out, and right now you're watching the hockey game or doing something else for a minute, that's awesome. I'm almost ready to proceed with the layout. Very excited that you guys are here. It is quieter tonight than we normally have, but I think it's because, one, a lot of people didn't know I was going to do it, because I had said it was yesterday, and it's a holiday weekend, right? And I know a lot of my friends in the U.S., it's spring break as well, isn't it? I know it varies depending where you are. Um, our spring break, I don't even know when it's supposed to happen. We call it March break here, but it didn't happen in March. And it's supposed to happen at some point in, in April, but they, um, I don't know if they've pinpointed. I said to Devin, I think they should just cancel it and just let you guys out of school a week early at this point, right? Like we only have, what, two months left of school? two and a half months, but the teachers probably need it to do marking and whatever needs to be done. But um, like at this point, and now we're on lockdown again, although the schools are still open, I think at this point, I don't think that's changed. Uh, Devin only goes in for one class, the rest uh, she does at home. But what a year, what a year. Anybody else feeling it? I am tired, and I know a lot of my American friends, you guys are closer to the light at the end of the tunnel than we are here, because we were rich and I were talking about it, and I was looking at memories from a year ago, and uh, I feel like it's just, I don't know, an extension of uh, every day. What, you're, you're here for real? Yes, I am, hello. I'm doing two lives. Uh, this week. Oh, did they make uh, April 12th to 16th is what's going to be our uh, spring break? Oh, I don't know what's happening, right? People will watch later. Easter is the biggest Christian holiday of the year, definitely. And I know this is a big holiday. Uh, uh, Good Friday is a big one. Poor teachers are in need of a break, definitely. Um, it's just popping in after Good Friday service virtually. I love it. This looks beautiful. Thank you, Nancy. And I hope you enjoyed your service. You stayed up till one crafting. I love it. Good girl. Um, 
I love it. You were doing your December daily and uh, listening. I love it. Uh, yay. Did I miss anything? Um, yeah, you're really feeling it. Glad the kids are home for our spring break. Less stress with them home. Yes. I And here's my thing. I'm just done with cooking. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. Um, like, you know, I should be planning Easter dinner and I took some stuff out, but I don't want to cook. I cook supper tonight. I don't, I really, that would be my Easter gift is I don't want to cook. I don't even care if I eat. I'll eat um, a piece of pepperoni and some cheese and I'm happy. I'm just done. I think being at home for all this time and that is like my COVID thing would be like having to worry about what we're making for meals all the time. Like that is my biggest thing. I'm done with cooking. I, I don't even like food anymore. It really is. It's like, you know, um, I was talking to them. I said, okay, now that our plans are canceled and we're not going to my brother's and I have to make supper, um, what do you guys want? And they're all like, man, I don't, whatever. And I'm like, well, you aren't getting anything then. Cause if you don't tell me what you want, and my husband said pasta because he's done with food too. And I'm like, you really want me to make pasta for Easter dinner? And then, like I said, I have created beasts in this house and we make different meals for everybody. So that's my Easter um, request is I don't actually want to cook ever again. I got your paper pack with all the mixed media. I love it. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's what we do. I want to stay home. I'm done with COVID craziness. Yes. I don't mind cooking. It's a deciding what to cook is the pain. Yes. And the cleanup. I'll cook it. But then I just want to walk out of the kitchen after dinner. I don't want to wash a dish. I don't want to load a dishwasher because I just feel like I have so much work to do. That is way too much time spent in the kitchen. I'm just done. I ate a sugar-free Jello cup for breakfast because I couldn't be bothered to open a yogurt. I love it, Patty, and I get it. Um, what do I have for breakfast today? Oh, I make these um, low-carb waffles and then I freeze them. So it was like a Vicky Lego My Ego. That's what I had today with some butter and then one with a little bit of peanut butter. And then for supper was, do you ever have those like hodgepodge meals where you just kind of throw um, every frozen dinner kind of thing? There's, oh, if you guys are Canadian and you have Sobeys near you, Sobeys does a, um, uh, sorry, just lost my train of thought, a... Chicken wing, like cauliflower, whatever you call that. I just, buffalo wing cauliflower. That is actually really, really good. So I made that for Devin. And then I made a blue cheese sauce that went on it with the um, chicken wing sauce. And then there were some cheese puffs in the fridge. I made those. I made some chicken wings I and homemade French fries. And Rich had a piece of fish. And it was literally like, looked pretty on the table, but it was like almost like an appetizer meal. And uh, now I'm trying to think of what I make for tomorrow and I I'm not, can't be bothered. You bought Lunchables with your groceries. I love that. Do You do what you need to do. We have low carb, carb waffles too. Yum. It is so good. And I shared with you guys, if you are low carb or gluten free um, or doing keto, uh, there's a company called Farm Girl. And I have to say, I've tried other low carb because I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. But I bought the Farm Girl um, pancake mix that I make waffles out of. I bought, they have this um, banana bread or banana muffin thing. And I just made, I make everything into waffles. Like they have a chocolate cake mix and stuff, but I'll just make waffles because I like the waffle iron. The cleanup is easy and then I can freeze it all. And if I want it, I just put it in my air fryer, toast it up and it's good. 
almost done this one. Look at, I can't stop the fussy cutting. I'm sure a lot of you are just going away because you're like, this is boring as heck. Okay. How are we doing? I love Farm Girl. It is so, so good. And the Buffalo Cauliflower is very good. Do you still love your ninja, Karen? I am telling you, I would do an infomercial for the ninja. Um, what is the one I have? I told you guys, the ninja, it has all of, does all the things. It's an air fryer. It um, is a Instapot kind of thing. It is a, uh, what's the other, crock pot. It does all the things. And I have to tell you, it makes the best bacon. Chicken wings take 18 minutes frozen. It is the best thing. I will tell everyone you need to buy the Ninja Foodie. Best investment. I use it every, almost every day. And I don't have to turn an oven on. The cleanup is super easy. I just throw it in the dishwasher when I'm done. I love that freaking thing. Best, best thing I spent money on. And now it gets rid of a whole bunch of other appliances. Yeah, Ninja Foodie. I love, love, love it. So yes, if you said, should you talked about it, would you still recommend it? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And I talked about the old, I had the old air fryer, the one that kind of spun around and I just donated it to um, one of those uh, kind of reuse places. And I have no guilt in buying another one. Now you're hungry. I hate cooking. Me too, Diane. I'm right there with you. Cause I, my family is all really, really picky it is not fun. I don't enjoy it at all. Uh, hi from South Australia. You've eat your breakfast, showered, dressed, all while listening to you, Vicki, uh, uh, to cuddle with your 11-month-old grandson. Enjoy it. Have a great time. St I did steaks in that freaking ninja, and it was very good. Hi, Tara. How are you? First time. Yay. Is it just Tara or Tara Lee? my water here okay you ready friends so let's talk about now so i've cut out my flowers i will make sure that they go with their coordinating colors so i'll just kind of do a stack i think at the top i don't know if i cut enough of everything out but it's good for right now and i can figure some things out later right i'm going to stamp a couple of leaves again this is, I told you guys, tonight would be how I sit and just kind of figure out a layout. So it will be a lot of farting around to start until I decide what I kind of want to do. Oh, that one, I have to finish it. Look, I did not finish my fussy cut on that one. And then I'm going to stamp a couple of leaves. And this set is the new color study. I think it's called All the Things uh, stamp set. And we did this yesterday and I stamped with archival ink. Nope, I'm lying. I stamped with distress ink. And then we put some water dots and some little splats on there for a tone on tone for this ombre effect. Tonight, we're going to use a lot of pop dots. So be prepared for that. I'm going to be popping a little, a lot of things up. So for my friends out there who are paper crafters, is there anyone out there who does not use foam dots to pop things up? Do you scrapbook everything flat? I know that it can be a little bit of an issue. And um, if you do notebooks or traveler's notebooks, but I'm the kind that I have to use my pop dots and not pop dots, foam dots. I do not use any kind of glue dot because I use them in the past. And if your scrapbooks or your pages or projects are anywhere where there's temperature change, your glue dots will melt. I learned that the hard way. I don't use a glue dot for maybe ribbon or something, but not for the most part. I do not use glue dots. That does not look like it belongs there. Yes. Yes. And we need another pink one. I did not cut enough pink. Your sister loves to cook. Oh, hello, Tim Holtz. No, you are amazing. I love that guy. 
So um, are you doing a live tomorrow, Tim? I don't know if you're still doing one with the um, Easter weekend. I have not been on the socials, so I haven't looked at anything. But um, if you are, I'm going to listen while I'm working tomorrow because I just like to listen to your voice and visit with you and Mario. It's awesome. And then the rest of the community that's always gathered with you. I'm sure everyone here knows who Tim is. But if you don't, this is the ink we used for this project is Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Ink. Distress Ink through Ranger. I'm tired. My brain's not working. But he is one of my favorite humans. So you definitely, if you don't know who Tim Holtz is, look him up. Which I doubt. I'd be shocked if everyone here doesn't know who he is. Um, but he, Tim does lives here on YouTube or on YouTube because I'm on YouTube and Facebook right now. He does lives every Saturday showing you exactly how to use all these products. And they're awesome. And I put a Ranger order in and I'm really sad because Microglaze is out of stock. And I really need some. And I keep looking through and I don't have any. Because I think every time I put an order in, I don't think I get it. But you guys, Microglaze is magic. But Tim, the reason, well, there's lots of reasons why I love that guy. Um, but one of the big reasons is, is that it's not a secret. Like he teaches you how to use all the product and it's not something that you have to be part of an exclusive group. You don't have to only take it in class form. He is one of the best marketer, um, marketers of his product and educators. And I think it's special. And when I grow up, I want to be just like Tim Holtz. I love him. I know someone. I'll get some sent your way. You're the best, Tim. I'm putting in another order, too, because, Tim, I was talking yesterday and um, realized that I think when I was traveling, I lost a whole box of my regular distress ink because I wanted to use candy apple yesterday, and I did not have candy apple distress ink, and I think that I have left it somewhere when I'm teaching. So I'm quite happy uh, to put orders in. I have a Ranger order that just shipped and is at my U.S. postal box. And I'm very excited because you guys know, if you follow me on these lives, that um, I am a Tim Holtz and a Ranger product lover. Even though I have stuff that has my name on it, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't tell you to use Tim's stuff and Dina's and Diane's and Wendy Vecchi's and Simon Hurley because they're all amazing creatives and it's a good company, good product. So now that I gushed all about Mr. Holtz, cause I do love him, which he knows cause I send him um, love notes all the time on Instagram that uh, I think he's awesome because it is, I really think it's important to tell people. And I love one of these things, um, that I love is when you guys share with us that you're a new grandma or that you're having cancer um, chemotherapy treatments and you need a little love or that maybe you're struggling a little bit with your mental health or maybe one of your kids, you know, is autistic or you're having a little bit of trouble and you need a group virtual hug from our community. Always put it out there because it's what we're here for. And, you know, sometimes we just need someone to tell us that, hey, we got your back and things are going to be okay. And um, I'm here for you, really. You know, we craft together, but for me, it's way big, bigger than this paper and uh, scrapbooking and art making that we do. This community is magic and you have saved me this year. I'm telling you, this week was a hard one, but doing this with you on the these lives is a lifesaver. Not just for you guys, for me too. Even though I'm fussy cutting for four hours today. <laughs> You're pure sunshine. I love you, Tim. Um, oh, and I just saw somebody else I wanted to say hi to. Where are you? Libby. Use all the things. I love Libby. So, you know, and it's fun because, um, and I think Karen is here tonight too. 
and I know she's one of our in-house card makers where I always feel like um, I can't be a card maker. I'm just not good enough, but I have been letting go of that and been very happy with some of the cards I've made lately. And I'm coming over to the dark side, I think, with the card making. Anyone out there who is pretty much um, maybe doesn't do card making at all, like you're more, I'd love to know what your predominant craft is. Are you a scrapbooker? Are you um, into art journaling? Because I love art journaling, but I'm not deep. I always say that it's the words aren't like my favorite thing. I'm not into the writing or um remember we talk about podcasts and I'm always like, is that podcast like deep and meaningful? Cause I don't really listen to that kind of stuff. It's not, I, I'm not some kind of weirdo shallow, no depth kind of person. I'm just fine that I can't listen to that stuff. I'm too soft and emotional. And I find that um, those podcasts that are kind of deep and want you to look inside yourself and that um i spend the whole time crying so i uh am not into that so much hello rich how are you glue. you need glue i think i could help you with that i think i have at least one bottle in here so how's everybody doing out there i'm sorry i'm still fussy cutting i told you guys i was going to put the scissors down but i can't um have a great live off to prep for Sizzix tomorrow. <gasps> Yay. That's exciting, Tim. I will see you there. And I, and I just ordered um, a new die cutting machine. So uh, I will be, maybe I'll sit and pull out my new Sizzix dies that Tim sent me and start cutting some stuff. So definitely check him out tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm done. Right. So Keisha is a 90% a scrapbooker, but you'll make some blank note cards. That's a great idea. Mini bookmaker, mixed media lover. I love it. Um, scrapbooking, but I'm going a little bit more over to the card side. Not totally, just a smidge. I agree. Sherry, I think it is a fun thing. Um, scrapbooker and card maker, card maker, scrapbooker and art journaler. I love it. Plain old scrapbooker. It's the only hobby I'm good at. I don't believe that, Beth, but um, I'm all right that you're just uh, a scrapbooker, but I feel like you could do all the things. I really think that um, we can do way more than we think we're capable of. And I think it's fun trying, right? So you do all the things, April. I love it. You play with everything. So a lot. I love it. So you guys are like me. Like I want to make jewelry one day and then the next day I want to make a card. And then the next day I want to learn how to do pottery. <laughs> like I want to do all of those things. Bless you. That was rich. And I don't know anyone else out there have a husband that when he sneezes, he's got to sneeze with like his whole being. He sneezes like that. Like it's not like a, -choo! it's a ha chew. It's he sneezes from his toes. So he was in the other room, but you could still hear him. Okay. So I like, remember, when, first thing I'm going to do is tear some of these ends because I like the look. I think it was Simone who tore the ends of her scraps. And I was kind of digging it. I like that kind of white, unfinished edge. But um, the other thing I want to do is stamp some words. And some of these, we have to decide how long they're going to be. So I'll go with it for now. Just tear them. Do what you need to do. But I did. I thought the edge was nice. And the, um, the uh, foundation's paper tears nicely. So we'll do some, see the torn edge. Don't you agree guys? I think that looks pretty. That one's torn. I, I don't remember doing that, but I did. Your sneezes like that at least six times every time he sneezes. Isn't that funny? But he, does that scare the heck out of you sometimes? Yes, Simone tore hers. I'm not normally a paper terror, but I liked the look when you posted it. I like it better because I find that, see, it makes it pop from the page. 
So thank you for the inspiration, Simone. I love it. And I'm going to keep all these pieces in case. It's so quiet in here. I cannot wait until we can scrap up with our friends again <laughs> one day. Like, I would love if we were in a room and we could be talking to each other. Um, I need it, right? Like, my family is awesome, and I enjoy being with them, but I miss hanging out with friends. Like, just, you know, people who aren't related to me. Anybody with me? Okay, so I'm going to take these off. I'm going to trim this. Because remember, I told you I never cut that off right away. You love the page. Thank you, Melanie. You tear paper up on most of your projects. I love it. My daughter is an artist, and she's amazing. I love that, Lee. Um, my daughter used to like creating with me, but not so much. And I'm hoping once the teenage years, when she's done, she will come back and do it with me hola patricia from mexico i love it you were in a zoom today with your scrappy friends we should do a zoom class together or, or a zoom together but i don't know if because there's a lot of us if it will work or not but i would certainly love that i would love to be able to see your faces and then to chat i think it would be a lot of fun so I'm putting these back on here. Now that I trim my top off, I'm still not exactly sure what the end result is going to be here, but I do know I want to stamp on some of these. See, and I might take, cause I kind of like seeing, so maybe all the strips that I have aren't going to go on here. That is, I'm digging that. That one there. And this one might end up being thinner. We'll decide. Digging it. Okay. So I want, so my idea once we did this yesterday is that I grabbed a piece of yellow cardstock. I think that it's not going to end up happening. I'm not going to use this. It's too contrasty that I'm going to mount my photos on here and I have little um, Instax. I bought myself an Instax printer. You need people. I, I really think I am. It's, it's a year now and I really feel like I was okay with this and I'm so busy half, all the time that I don't really have time to think about it. Um, but I need to hug and see my friends and pack a suitcase and go somewhere that would be kind of nice so I think for sure these two will go on here right I could put a third on there if I want to we'll decide and these might not even end up going on here we'll decide I don't know what do you think do you like those little um in stacks are fun right and then my title can go here and then I can layer some flowers and I really could mess around a little bit with some of these how deep they're coming in but I would like to do some tone on tone stamping and I would like to make some leaves oh I like that a lot and I don't think I'll even mount these or mat them oh are you talking about doing a um a are we talking about doing a, um, uh, I just forgot what that's called, a Zoom? Is that what we're talking about? I think it would be fun, right? I would love that. I would love it. And hello from Puerto Rico. Hola. So I'm loving the staggered stripes as well. And now um, we know that these are going to go in here too. These are going to be layered in here. It's going to be very pretty. I'm feeling it already vibing, coming together. I'm going to sew on here. I'm going to end up stamping some leaves. But I want to try some tonal stamping. So because my flower pictures are flowers, there's a bee, 
So I'm just going to kind of think of like maybe I might put happy. Let's try that. And these might be too big. We'll decide. But I'm hoping we have to do a test. We'll do a test on the other one that this will work in oxide. But won't that be fun? I think that'll be fun. So let's just grab a letter and see what it looks like. I had scraps somewhere. I'll do it on my scrap piece. Okay, so we can decide if this will actually work. Because you know you can have an idea, but it doesn't mean that the idea will actually work. And I have my inks, and this one was Tattered Rose. And I'm going to see if it will show up if we stamp it. Oh, I don't want, I want it in oxide. Because if it will show up, I think that it will be a fun little technique. Ooh, look, can you see it? So I have an idea. Are you ready? I'm going to heat emboss it. Who won the March draw? I posted the, oh, I didn't do a March. Did I do a March draw? I don't think I did a March draw, did I? I think I did a draw for Natalie. Do you remember? Maybe we'll do it tonight. I don't know if I did a March draw. I just need to find some clear embossing powder. So I walked away for a minute because I think that that's what we need. Do I have any clear embossing powder handy? I have UD, but I think it will be too much. I think this is white. Is this white or clear? We'll see. If it's white, I don't care. I'm going to use it anyway. That might be fun. White might be fun. Look at switching the script. I'm going to use embossing ink. And I think this is white. And I'm going to do that. So let's get ready for it. And I'm going to spell happy on this. And I think that that's going to be fun. And I don't care if it really stamps clean either. If it only partially stamps will be fun. So let me just clean that off. Bloom where you're planted. Yes, that'd be awesome. But remember, <laughs> not a real journal early. But yeah, that's super fun. Hello, Wendy. How are you? So um, welcome, welcome. So I'm going to see. I don't know what color this is. I just put my embossing the heat gun away. Let's grab it. Unplug the sewing machine for a minute. And it's ready. So let's do the things. I'm not going to do all of them. Maybe two, maybe three words. We'll see. But I'm going to do happy here. And really, it might be a good idea to start with Y and back, but I think I'll be fine. So I'm not going to get too crazy with this. And it's going to be very haphazard. I'm not stamping it perfect. I, this might be clear. I don't even know. Isn't that pretty sad? If it's clear, which I think it is now that I just did this. Look. Pretty sure that's clear and it might not show up at all. So we'll see what happens now. That's how Vicky rolls. It's clear. Don't you love that? What a dingbat. I should probably label some of my stuff and it wouldn't be an issue. So it is clear embossing ink. So I have an idea because we can make anything work. Give me a second. Ooh. Ooh. 
scattered rows. Watch what's going to happen. Guess what I just found? Some distress embossing glaze. So what I just made a mistake, but I think it's going to make it even better because I found something awesome to use. I just need a piece of paper. Okay, let's try this. I think it's going to be fun. So what I'll do is I will reheat this so it's warm enough to pick up some of the tattered rose. Yes, I could ink around it. I know that I could. I just don't want to. I really want to leave, but I'm going to see if this works. And I think that it will. And I think it's going to be pretty. And it's just another distress product that we can use. So if you guys haven't seen these in action, which if you've been watching, Tim, they are amazing. Brand new. So i got to open it. So I'll heat this so it's warm enough. And then I'm going to sprinkle some embossing glaze, the tattered rose embossing glaze. So let's have it all ready. It's open. It's ready to go. I'm going to get that hot so it will sit in there. And I'll layer it on top and hope that it will stick. And it's going to give me a hard time because that's what happens to me. Okay. I'm heating it a little off camera, okay, friends, just because I need to move a little faster. Oh, it's very pretty. Look at that. And it's actually super pretty, I think, because it has the two. So I have ideas. So let's do it. Okay, I'm going to leave that on there. I am going to find the P. Oh, my goodness. Look at the mess I have everywhere. Don't be like Vicky. I will clean it later. Okay. How are you guys doing? Watching my craziness happen. I like it though, right? Here we go. Are we ready? Oh, I need an A. What am I thinking? I can't spell either. You're learning all my secrets. You love the way I sing my words? Well, it is. Because if I was sitting here do it, I would just, I wouldn't, I don't normally talk to myself. But these, this is the kind of thing that happens when I'm scrapbooking. Like I will make mistakes all the time. And I'm doing it wonky, right? Because I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the clear. Tap, tap. And I'm going to sprinkle some of the glaze on it and see what we get. I might have to heat it a little and then add more, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I love it with the two on there. Sprinkle a little bit on that warm. You just got to watch, right? Because when your paper's hot, sometimes the glaze sticks a little bit. So I just have my little paintbrush and I can flick some of it off. you see that? It's very pretty. Okay. This might be the only word that we do. We'll see. 
PPY. I, you like my crazy. It is. And I said tonight was going to be just um, what word are you actually stamping and embossing letters? Happy. Because um, flowers make me happy. And it's just basic. And remember, I'm not like deep journaler. So I just thought happy would be fun on here. I'm going to do both P's at the same time. I'm hoping I can see where I put the first one. I'm a liar. I'm not because I think I'll mess it up. Okay, I only put half on there. So see, embossing powder is just on half. Okay, let's see what happens. And if you have the Ranger heat tool, is actually better than this embossing. Even though it is not like the best embossing tool because it um, this gets way hotter but I don't like that um, it blows my powder off when I'm doing these cheats that is my stomach making the weird growling noises okay let's go so I know that the um, heat tool is not for embossing, but sometimes I will just be patient and use it because, um, or you can heat from underneath, I guess. Very fun, right? You're late to the party. I'm excited to have you here though. Whenever you can get here, it's good, right? I love these happy accidents because that's looking really pretty. Okay, another P. I might do one more word, we'll see. I just, this is the whole thing. If I was scrapbooking by myself, I wouldn't care about time, but I always feel like you guys have other things to do. And this could be where it's taken too long. And you're like, oh my goodness. I have other things I need to be doing and Vicki is taking forever. I'm going to heat this one from under because I don't want that to go away. There we go. And you could pinch a little in here like Seth After does because he is like an embossing genius. But I like it. Just that hint of it. Isn't that super pretty, friends? Very pretty. Okay. Let's put our Y on. Take as long. Yeah, I guess if you have other things to do, you'll just leave me. Um, but I do. I always feel like, oh my goodness, Vicki, hurry up. It's probably you can hear my mother in my ear. That took forever tonight. <laughs> She will be like, oh my goodness, I have to go to bed. And I like to watch you, but you took too long tonight. And she's probably out there laughing because she knows she says it to me. That, oh my goodness, you like to talk, child. That's what she'll say to me. You like to talk, child. And I'm like, well, I don't think there's any surprise there, mom. Right? I've always been... Like somebody posted the meme or whatever. Like, were you the one who on your report card always had that good student, but she talks too much. That was totally me on every single report card that I was a chatty Kathy. I wasn't allowed to sit near my friends because I would rather talk than do the work. Although in the same breath, I don't did not like to get in trouble. I was a good girl. I did not like to get in trouble. So in the same breath, I say that, but um, 
if I was told to turn around and stop talking, I pretty much did because I didn't want teacher mad at me. Burnt my finger. Oh, I love that. Love it. Okay. I don't know what other color of, um, let's see, maybe I'm lucky and I don't know uh, what other glaze color I have. Let me look. I hope I have one of these and that is going to pretty much dictate if I do it again. Cause I could actually just use this color again, but we'll see. Give me one second. Let me go look in my dream box where I've organized all the things. And see what other color I have. So I have the things, friends, right? I have things. I just don't know if I'm going to have anything that's going to work. What is this one? Antique linen. Crackling campfire. Fired brick. Pink flamingo. Happy might be my only word. And then I'll do something else. Okay. Because actually, I'm not going to heat emboss the other one. I'm just going to stamp it. Because I think if I go in with one of the darker colors, we'll be able to see it. And then I'll clear emboss on top of it. Okay? I just came up with my own plan. All right. Let's do the things. So, because Vicky's a klutz, put your lid on your embossing powder. So you do not put your elbow in it until you're ready to use it. We know Happy's going to go here. And I'm totally digging that. I love it. I don't want one everywhere. I don't want a word everywhere. Um, and I don't think I'll be able to use that thick. I'll have to get a, the other stamp set. Which is over here. Just throwing stuff out of the way. How we doing out there, friends? Totally ignoring you tonight. Yeah, I could do the outline and stamp would be fun too. I just don't know if it'll show up. So I'm going to do, I have abandoned coral and ripe persimmon. And that's what I feel like. But I want to grab wherever I put them here. I'm going to use now the, we can try the outline stamp. Because it's okay if we can only kind of see it. So let's do that. So I have happy, I can do smile, I can do joy. So I'm going to put joy on here. Happy, what else? I don't know. What else could I put on here? Help me, friends. Got my word stamped on my banners, but... Had to use a darker ink, yes. Okay. I need to figure out what word I want to use. I'm going to do joy and just at the top there. Okay. I'm going to do that. Just because my brain hurts tonight and it's requiring too much thinking. So if it doesn't work, oh, I don't think these are outlined. They are not. What is going on? Bold. But these aren't outlined. Isn't that weird? Bold cap. Bold cap outline. But it is a solid stamp. I don't think I'm imagining it. Isn't that weird? I wonder if I have the wrong stamp set in there somehow. Because it is not an outline. It is a solid. Isn't that weird? Yeah, well, I'll just use it anyway. Uh, joy. These are so yummy. I love a good, mmm, smells kind of lemony stamp set. Um, and I'm going to do it on the top up here. So let's 
fingers crossed, I'll open up that the darker ink will show up better than the lighter ink. But yeah, for a lot of you guys out there who have tons of inks, you totally could use different colors, right? This is going to work better because it's darker. Summer, yeah, that would be good. But I think um, I'll just do that happy, joy, smile, whatever. Pick whatever word you want to use on yours. Oh, but see the darker inks are perfect. Look, it's perfect. Joy to the world, all the boys and girls. Joy to the fishes who see. Joy to you and me. If I were the king of the world, I tell you what I do. Okay. Perfect. It's working. Okay. Just on the dark with the darker ink colors, you can totally get away with the tone on tone. Joy. And then we're gonna sew. Oops. There it is. I'm like I threw that. Where did I put it? How we doing, friends? Great singing, yeah, or something, right? I would love to be able to scrapbook with you guys live and in person where we could listen to music and have a little mini dance party. I went to um, teach at an event in Colorado and we stayed and we actually cropped. So we didn't only teach, we actually scrapbooked, even though I get nothing done, not going to lie. I don't work well in large groups. Do you know what I'm saying, friends? I am too many distractions, so I just talk to everybody or sing. And they were playing 80s music and I laughed because I think I knew the word every song that came on I knew the words to it is there's something weird I said if my teachers would have sang all of my lessons to me I think I would have been brilliant because I can remember every song lyric but I can't do math I can't count or know my times tables but my goodness if they would have sang the math to me I would have been good I can dance, but I can't carry a tune in a bucket. I love it. And I love to dance too. Um, I love to dance and I miss so much my Zumba, my Zumba classes. It is my favorite thing in the world. I love Zumba. Does anybody out there do Zumba or have they done Zumba or do you like to salsa dance? Remember we talked about this yesterday and I told Natalie that I love to salsa. Smile. That's what I'm going to S M. Throw these over here for right now. You Zumba. I love it. You taught Zumba for seven years before your car accident. I'm sorry about that. Um, Yes, and I, I'm going to see if I can get my Zumba instructor, who I absolutely love. That woman can move like you have never seen, Doris, and she teaches belly dancing. And what do you guys think if I got her to do a Zoom class and we all like paid five bucks or something? Would you do a Zumba night with me? I think that that would be so much fun, and I think Doris would be totally down to do it. But I would love to do a Zumba class with all of you guys. And um, she is phenomenal. Like, I'm telling you, it is really good. Because I've done other Zumba classes. She's good. She's good. Her class is so good. You can, you can actually, um, you can actually can move. You can move. Oh, oh, I can. But don't you think that would be fun if we did a Zumba night? And I figure if we had enough people, 
um, it would be, it'd help her out too, because her studio with COVID um, is closed again. So she might really be down doing a um, Zumba night and we could help Doris out because I love her. Um, and you know, when I share it, when I tell you people that I think are awesome, they there's a reason. She's just a good, kind soul. And she, I love, it feels so good. I love to Zumba. It just makes me feel good. I think that that would be fun. And if I can get you guys on board and we could do it, I think we would enjoy that. Even for some of you guys who think you can't do it, it would be fun just for you guys to come out there. You would do it with me, Robin, too, and Natalie and Leander. A lot of you guys said you would do it, right? And who just said, speaking of 80s songs, what did I miss? The song, You Can Dance If You Want To, just came in my head. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. Yes. I just love that song because they talk about Banum in it. <laughs> and only my Canadians um, and French Canadians will probably know who Banum is. But uh, yes, men without hats. I'm telling you, you put it out there, I'll probably be able to sing it because I know the lyrics to so many freaking songs. Like I said, I can't remember a phone number or anything else, but I can remember song lyrics. You bring a smile to my face. Yeah, there's something wrong with me, right? You love the 80s and I love the music, but I laugh now too with the 90s jeans coming back. And I tell Devin, I'm like, you guys aren't going to like these because jeggings are actually way more comfortable than mom jeans and denim that has no stretch or give in it and is up to your like neck because it's so high waisted. Good luck riding in a car with your jeans on because or you're going to be riding everywhere with your pants undone. Because those high waisted mom jeans that are 90s style wide leg where they're saying jeggings aren't in anymore. I'm like, they're not comfortable. So it will I'll be very interested to see how long the style lasts because they're not comfortable. And now the jeans that they have coming back out have uh, no stretch. They have no lycra in them. So it's like old school denim that when lycra first came out, we're like, oh my goodness, I can wear my jeans. Even when I go out for a steak dinner, I don't feel like they're cutting off my circulation. So I laugh when they um, think they're cool and it's such a new style. I'm like, telling your friends i wore the 90s jeans the mom jeans the high-waisted and it is not a comfortable thing so it'll be interesting right my son knows it and loves that song he said why is she singing safety dance s s s s a a a a f f f f e e e e t t t t y y y y safety dance dance do 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 yes and my friend Patty is here, and she lived in Welland with me growing up. So, yes, I would have been singing and dancing to that at a CFNY dance party when we used to have video dances. I would have been rocking out to the safety dance in our uh, Centennial High School cafeteria where we had our dances. I would have been rocking out to safety dance, let me tell you, with my um, hair that was short on one side and long on the other. Oh, look how pretty this is. I really wish this one would have turned out like these because I don't like this. So guess what? There's no reason I can't switch things out. So I'm, I'm making a decision. Are you ready for it? I'm gonna cut two strips and I'm switching it because this is pretty and I'll use it maybe on a card, but I don't want it on this layout. So I'm gonna to go to a darker color. What is pliers? I don't, what is that? 
Oh, to put your jeans on? Is that what you're saying? When we used to wear our jeans so tight, we'd have to lay on the bed to get them up. Coat hanger. I remember using a coat hanger to get my pants on. So I'm doing two strips. And I'll save that for something else. This reminds me of McDonald's. Like, it's like a Happy Meal thing. Um, is that what you were saying, Patty? Is that what you're talking about? Did you go to high school in Colorado? No, I did not. I'm Canadian. Uh, my high school was in Welland. And we were cougars. And Patty's dad was actually my science teacher. So... Um, we have known each other for a very long time and, uh, discovered each other in scrap with scrapbooking again. She owned an awesome store and we had so much fun and she was one of the, um, and may the good Lord help you if you had to pee at school. <laughs> yes. With those jeans on. Oh my goodness. And heaven help you if you zipped your skin up in those skin tight jeans because i'm sure somebody out there knows that right oh you have a centennial high school there too yeah what is your mascot we were cougars yeah i love it so yes i will save that and i don't actually even mind that look friends so i'm gonna go in i'm not doing it on this one i'm gonna put it on here so I'm okay if my word is on here. So should we do happy again? I think happy look nice, but I'm just going to stick with these, okay? And I'm going to do it in worn lipstick because that's what that color was. I'm digging it. Totally digging it. I love this. It's coming together, right? I told you we'll be here all night, but do it. Ouch. Yes, ouch. Did the skin zip. Oh, yeah. Stirrup pants. Oh, my goodness. I loved my stirrup pants and body suits that I could never do up because my boobs were too big. So I used to just tuck my body suit into the waistband of my pants. I could never do a body suit up. They never made those long enough if you were chesty. But yes, I remember my stirrup pants and my body suits. I remember. So we had a store called... Um, Oh, help me, friends, Canadian friends who are of the age that I am. What was the one called? Not Bargain Heralds. It was the place we went. Like, I'd go to get an outfit because I could buy polka dot everything and stripes. And I remember the uh, skirts that had the drop waist and the ruffles. I, somebody's going to remember one of my Canadian friends. Love st stir up, not by way. It wasn't like that. It was, um, it was a kid's, like a teen store. And it was like, you could go in and buy an outfit for like nothing. Not by way, Patty. Remember, um, oh my goodness. I have to remember now. I would, they used to call me the polka dot princess. And I would buy like, it was like stuff you'd go out in. No, it was, it was, Mm, I'll remember. I have to think about it. If my mother was out there, she she's probably saying it to the computer. It was a person's name, I think. And it was, we go in and it's a Canadian store. And I mean, the it would be jam packed with skirts and tank tops. And uh, we would go there before we went to the dancing, out dancing, and I'd buy an outfit. And, um, I loved that kind of stuff. Like, I and I remember Cotton Ginny. I loved Cotton Ginny. No, not Wilco. It's not like Department, and it's not Susie Shear, and it's long gone. And I'll have to remember. If my friend um, Julie was on here, she'd remember because it would be around probably my grade 12 year, and then when I was old enough to go out dancing. And I would go and the outfits, it was disposable clothes, super cheap. You go and buy an outfit and um, you'd go out dancing. And if you uh, spilt something on it, you wouldn't care because you only paid like $5 for the top. You'll remember, Patty, it was across town. It was across town where um, 
the Camisos is. So it was on the other side of Welland. Not Bargain Heralds. What was it called? Happy. That's what I need to do here. But I loved that. I loved, I had tons of shoes back in the day. And well, it's not like anything's changed. My love affair for clothes, earrings, sweaters did not just start this year. Let's say it's gone on for a long time. Polka dot pants. Do you guys remember um, Crazy Lee's? Yes, Crazy Lee's. That was the one. Oh my goodness, I loved that store. Um, do you guys remember um, like Peter Pan getaway shoes? That's what we called them. Or desert boots. Did you guys wear desert boots? I had desert boots in like every single color. <laughs> I loved my desert boots. And my Peter Pan getaway shoes. I don't even remember what they look like. I just know we called them Peter Pan getaway shoes. What did they look like? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Dancing at Bragg's. Oh my goodness, yes. And Club Exit. Yes, I love to go dancing. But I loved high school dances. And I don't think our kids get the experience. I don't know. Friends in the U.S., do you still have lots of dances? We used to have a dance every month. We would have a high school dance. And I have to say, in with both of my kids in high school, I think they only went to a handful of dances. And I think it's really sad. And we used to have church dances. Like you, you would have, as being a kid, you'd have somewhere to go. We had somewhere to go and hang out and um, be with our friends. And and now I don't find there's as much of that. But I bet in the U.S. you guys still have lots of that. Yes, 100 bucks at Christmas and you'd get five outfits, right? Crazy Lee's. Oh, my goodness. I loved that store. And I would buy, um, I remember one of my favorite outfits was fringe <laughs> it's dating me it was a fringed um jacket and then i had a fringed bustier with an acid washed drop waist skirt with um lace ruffles on it and the biggest hair you ever did see because i had some big hair with big claw bang <laughs> I want to see if that's going to come back in style. Are they going to wear hair like we did back then? They're wearing all the fashions we did. Do you think they'll do their hair like we did? You Two dances at high school. Daughter goes to charter school for performing arts. And they don't do the normal stuff. Yeah, I think we had, you had that skirt too. Infringe, literally, yes. And then I had matching no word of a lie, matching acid wash shoes because there was a place in Toronto that was right across from the Eaton Center that we would go and it was the best shoe store ever. And I had acid wash shoes with rhinestones on them to match that outfit. Oh my goodness, I loved that outfit and my banana clip. <laughs> Do you think kids will start wearing banana clips again? Madonna, oh my goodness. And let me tell you, Sherry, um, I dress like her. I remember going to my grandma's so that I could get the mesh scarf that she used to cover her rollers in just so I could wear my hair like um, Madonna did, right, in Holiday, where she tied that. And do you remember the rubber bracelets, the friendship bracelets? I dressed like Madonna. I dressed like and did my makeup like Boy George. I... um. I uh, loved them. Like I loved Boy George, Madonna. I had the, not the red jacket like Michael Jackson had. I had a gray one, but with the flaps and the buttons. And do you remember parachute pants? I loved break dancers. <laughs> I was a wacko. Very fun friends there. Look at, that's fun, right? Now I feel like this one still needs something. So I'm going to go with it in the color. 
um, and put one more word on. And even if it doesn't show up as much, at least it's balanced. And in this smaller stamp, it might be okay. So let's try it. Help me with another word. So I have happy. I want a small word. So we have happy, joy, smile. And I need another word. Help me, friends. You had parachute pants, Patty. I love those. Um, bell bottoms, giving my age away. Well, I had bell bottoms, but I was young. They hit a lot of stuff, yeah. So live, live with, right? Happy, joy, smile. What? But what would go with bees and flowers, right? How about bee? No, not be happy because it would be sweet. Love. I like love. I'm going to do love. Thank you, Poppy. I'm going to go with love. Thank you, everyone, for your suggestions. But I think that I love it. Love, happy, joy, smile. That's good. And you guys know I say it all the time. And in every one of my collections, what do we... Oh, I almost stamped and worn lipstick. Um, you know, love it is in probably every collection on my sticker sheets because what do I say all the time? Suddenly Susan. Oh, I remember that movie with Patricia Arquette, wasn't it? And Madonna. Am I wrong? Wasn't that who was in Suddenly Susan with Madonna was Patricia Arquette. Oh, this one's showing up, I think. Okay. I think the smaller letters, see? You'll be able to see a little bit of it anyway. And then let's finish this. Suddenly, Susan. Okay. Just keep working here, Vicki talk so much. Um, when I watch Lail and she does um, my friend Lail Konkar, which is, uh, she does listing and she did like cartoons and she's done favorite foods from when we grew up. I loved the cartoon one because it just makes you remember, right? I love, uh, I loved my childhood. I think growing up a kid of the 70s and 80s and 90s was awesome. Playing outside, like I think we experienced more than our kids did. And I loved playing with toys. And I loved riding my bike. You know, and Fonzie and Happy Days and all those shows we watched. And Saturday morning cartoons were the best thing ever. Life was um, not as simple as maybe um, Laura Ingalls, but we had a lot of fun. Fun would have been a good one too, Lee. Wonder what scrapbooking looked like back in the 80s. Well, did it, like, right? I, I used to scrapbook with my teen Tiger Beat and teen magazine. I would have my pages of um, C. Thomas Howell and uh, anything to do with... Uh, the outsiders and and we would just stick it in like a newsprint book right and then write hearts and stories and all that that worked it's working for me we're good you'll be 50 this year too me too laverne and shirley i loved it what was your favorite show yes and stickers and sticker books you, oh my goodness, Patty, that's the best thing I've heard tonight. Patty had an Eddie Van Halen scrapbook. I love it. And now you're listening to Madonna Holiday. I love it. Best childhood. So many fond memories. You have your scrapbooks from the 60s. I love it, Betty. That's awesome. Rob Lowe. I loved him, but C. Thomas Howell was my, um, he was my favorite. He he was the one, and Emilio Estevez, I have to say, from the Brat Pack were my two. I loved them. C. Thomas Howell and uh, Emilio Estevez, and I loved those S.E. Hinton books. I wish that my kids liked to read as much as I did back then, 
oh my goodness did you like read every stephen king that was another thing or flowers in the attic i loved to read and they don't as much but they like to be on their phone and and snapchat and all of that stuff right and TikTok. but i loved reading he was he was the cutest of it but it's no different uh, Patty, that Duran Duran, who I loved, I did not pick the cutest out of any because then I felt like there I might have had a chance. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I might have had a chance. If everybody picked Rob Lowe um, or Matt Dillon, like you, I'd never have a chance because everyone loved them. So with Duran Duran, it was my favorite was, oh my goodness, the keyboard player somebody remember remind me from duran duran you know i did not like the um cutest guy on duran duran i liked the um keyboard player with the red hair that i don't think anybody liked but i picked him because you know i might have a chance he might marry me because he wasn't the most popular on in duran duran and it was the same with the brat pack i picked the one no one else liked <laughs> I always pick the underdog. Uh, not was it Nick Taylor? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe it was the redhead, right? Uh, Simon Le Bon. You like Simon Le Bon? But uh, yes, no. I it was. I guess it was probably Nick Taylor. That was probably the one that I picked. But not that there was. I think no. Wasn't Nick Taylor the guitar or bass player, the really hot one? Nick Rhodes. Yes, Nick Rhodes. It wasn't Taylor. John Taylor, um, I think, was one of them. But Nick Rhodes, 100% Karina. Nick Rhodes was the one I had. And, oh, my goodness, friends, I loved, loved Billy Idol. Like, he's the one I had the satin posters, you know, that you would get at the fair. And I'd wear the roach clips in my hair, not having any clue what roach clips were really for. I thought it was like I was Juice Newton and I was, you know, wearing my Juice Newton Morning Angel or whatever song she sang. I had my roach clip in my hair and my, um, <laughs> my, uh, my, um, satin flags and I would kiss my Billy Idol posters good night okay I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna sew on it and pray for me that my sewing machine actually works tonight and I don't embarrass myself I fixed what you guys told me feeding the thread through the right way oh, I hate when I do that um, so I did that but we will see. Fingers crossed. I'm really hoping it works. And then I wrecked my tape runner because it's what I do. You can't stop laughing. Oh my goodness. I loved Billy Idol so much. You saw him in 2019? Oh my goodness. So when I was growing up, he was at Brock University, which is a university right around the corner. Actually, I can see it from my house now. And Billy Idol was going to be there. My mother never said no to me. Like, I pretty much, if I asked, I was a good kid. She'd let me do anything. And she would not let me go to the Billy Idol concert. And it broke my heart. Because he was going to be here. And, you know, he, if he would have saw me, he would have wanted to marry me. I just know it. And how different my life would have been. Might not have even been alive anymore. <laughs> but oh my goodness, I loved him so much. He was my favorite. When we had our, like, growing up, our, like, rock idols, mine was 100% Billy Idol. He got in a really bad, I think, motorcycle accident, though, didn't he? I think he almost died. Billy Squire. I love it. See, that wasn't my kind of music. That was more my brother. The dreams we had, right? 
They were awesome. What are we saying? Hello from New Zealand. You, and you love Brian Adams and he's Canadian. Brian Adams. So see, we were connected even back then. Okay. Loving that friends. See it coming together. The tone on tone words. What do you think? Are you in agreement with me and you like how it turned out? I am really digging them. So I will trim after. But let's grab the sewing machine. And let's finish this sucker up. I'm really enjoying my time with you guys here tonight. Thank you for letting me just ramble on, yammering away. So I laughed. I was watching my friend Beth Kingston the other day, and she's like, I have to stop talking. I'm yammering away. And I said, I'm here for the yammer. It's my favorite part. I love listening to the people that I miss in my life talk away. <laughs> I just got electrocuted, shocked from my computer. So yeah, you like the tone on tone words? I think it just adds a little bit something, right? Now the problem with embossing powder on these tacky mats is it's everywhere and it's gonna drive me crazy. It's like when you make asparagus and you don't wash it well enough and you crunch on sand, which might've happened to me this week and I couldn't eat the asparagus and I was done. My husband, my son laughed at me and I'm like, I'm done, Riley. I took two bites and I was crunching on the sand and then I'm like, and I'm out. I can't eat this. So my asparagus went in the garbage. And it's always hit or miss, right? If you're an asparagus lover. Okay, grabbing it. Gonna put the camera, if I can, sorry friends for my arms, just so you guys can see and I'll adjust again, all right? Um, let's hope for the best here. Oh, I unplugged it for the heat gun. And let's hope that it's going to work. And I'm not going to jack up the whole page because I don't know how to clean my... Billy Idol just played with Miley Cyrus before the Super Bowl. How did I miss that? Where was that? Can I see it on YouTube's? Oh my goodness. I love them both. Or your mini vacuum, but it, I have to use wet Julie. Like it, it is, it sticks on there. It's just a nightmare. So I'm going to sew on this friends because it's what I like. I love the texture of sewing on paper. I fix this, right? Cause I had it on this. I was all messed up. And we're just going to hope for the best. And I'm hoping that because I didn't clean it, I don't know how much thread is in my bobbin. Um, I think I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. So let's change that. And I'm going in. Pray for me because we will see. Is it going to work or not going to work tonight? I don't know. But we will try. And you guys told me, hold my string. I'm holding my string. I'm move that over a little bit. Don't judge me sewers either because I know there's lots of quilters and stuff out here. And you probably watch some of this. Oops, look what I just did. I turned it. So I could get the foot pedal to work. And then I turned everything. Okay, I'm going in. See, it's not working at all. Oh my goodness. Is that just because I came on here tonight to sew and it is not working at all. It's all jammed underneath. So I will sew after the fact. I'm going to have to go in. It's all jacked in the bobbin. I don't know why that's happening. See what happened to me? So it's not a big deal. I'll move smile over and just stitch it again. But see what happened? It's all gets stuck in the bobbin. We were good and then we were not good. So it'll look really pretty. Imagine that's what's gonna happen. But I will sew on it after I figure out why my sewing machine is not working. Cause I don't know why the bobbin keeps getting jammed. I do all the things, but it does, it gets stuck in there. So I'll do the cleaning and all the things you guys told me. I'm going to stop trying to cheat and just use it without doing the work that I'm supposed to do.
do do pull the bobbin thread up manually before you start which i did it was behind it was all good and then for some reason when i sew it all gets stuck and then when i cut it it usually has like an extra thread in the bobbin hole does that make sense so i don't know i just i wish one of you was close enough that you could just come and fix it for me because this is how i roll i don't have time to figure this stuff out and i'm the kind don't be surprised if you see a new sewing machine here because i am that kind i'll just go buy a new one okay so i'm not sewing on it tonight but i will i will figure it out but that look at it. it's all jacked look at and i know it has to do with the bobbin i know it's not the tension it's it has to, it's something to do with the bobbin because it all gets wraps around in there so we'll figure it out you had the wrong size bobbin once and that happened mm, but i don't think i've ever changed the bobbin is it's what came with the machine right in the same thread in the bobbin yep i threaded it from the um thread that's on top so very frustrating but i'll figure it out maybe i'll hand stitch on it later because i'm gonna have to cut that out because you know if you've met me before there's no way that i will leave um that thread looking like that because that really is not my jam so we'll figure it out and it, tonight's not the night for that it just is one of those things do you ever feel like that it's like why can't it just work like, I don't have time for that. And I am not a seamstress, quilter, any of the things. I wish Miss Mrs. W still lived up the street for me because I know she'd be able to help me. Because she is a master sewer and quilter. And um, anybody who's met me before, it's like, I don't need to know how. <laughs> Just do it. Just help me. Just fix it. Like Riley will come down and it'll be something with the computer and he'll start explaining. And I'm like, don't need to know, hun. Just fix it. We're good. I have enough information in my brain. So took it out. I will move that over and then just sew it again. Later. Or hand stitch it, which might end up happening because that was very frustrating. No, none of those things, right? It, it, there's, it's not upside down. I don't, I don't know. I'll read through all this stuff later, right? Um, we'll figure it out. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. That stitch without the thread and then the holes are there and then I could just hand stitch through it. That's a cool idea. But I usually just poke it and do all the things but it's all good right so we'll finish and then I can always come back and sew so now even if I am not going to use these photos we'll use them for placement and I really feel like it's going to be something like that and then for our flowers right do 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 I'm going to stay in kind of that same tonal business that we have. Going on here. I don't want it that big, maybe this size. And then with the orange one, see, I cut all these flowers out and I was so concerned that I would, do I have enough? And I'm not gonna end up using all of the ones that I cut out at all. So I'm not, look, if you guys are telling me things about the sewing machine, I'll read it later and figure it out. And I do love the um, help that you guys give me. Oh, that's wrong color. No, that isn't. Yes, it is. This should be over here. 
This should be over here. And then these ones are here, the orange. Yes, I will definitely read it and figure out what you're telling me because you're smart. And I obviously am not when it comes to the sewing machine. I just need my pop dots, which I know I took out today. They're there. Sewing is usually, I'm okay with it. It's just when I end up having, hello, Christina, when I have issues with take it to get service. I don't even know if it's worth the machine is, the value is worth to pay to get the service. I probably should just buy myself a new sewing machine because that one was just a Walmart dealio, right? I didn't spend a lot of money on it. So we'll do something like that. I know that I'm going to foam dot the back of this picture and I don't even want to mat these because I really love, um, the, um, tone on tone kind of look of this, but I do want the stitch on there because I think that it will make it more interesting. What are, are, is something going on? I see all of you guys are saying, uh, live, 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 or is it live or live? What are you telling me? Hubby walks in and says, weren't you all working on this page last night? So I told him we're finishing it tonight and hanging out together, but I love that he knows Vicky and he pays attention. I love that too. Tell him I said, hello, is he watching sports tonight or, um, what is he up to? When you craft, what do your significant others do? Do they miss you and say, are you almost done? Come and watch a movie with me. Someone was asking if this was a replay or live. Yes, live. I understand now. I don't didn't know if you guys were telling me I needed to do something. But I think it was Karen who brought up that I did not do a giveaway for... Did I do a giveaway? But I did, right? The two giveaways. We did that one, right? The two different um, distress Vicky Booten gift packs that I did. Yeah, I think that was our giveaway for the month of... Oh, so pretty, friends. It's really coming together. Um, uh, I don't remember what I was... I just lost my train of thought. Very fun, very fun. Don't know if I want that on there though. Yes, we had two winners, right? We had one that, thank you, uh, Natalie, and need to get in touch with me. I think one emailed me. One of the winners emailed me, but I don't think I heard from the other one yet. Yes, so what, somebody won, uh, he couldn't care less half the time. He doesn't even know I have earphones in. <laughs> That's just after years and years being together, right, Patty? That happens. They're just doing their own thing. I'm, I'm just often happy, like, after being married for a long time, right? I'm glad. Like, go watch your sports or whatever. I'm, I'm quite contentedly doing my own thing. And I'll meet up with you when we go to watch Game of Thrones later. But for now, um, I'm going to move this around because right now it's too um, kind of bulked into one area. So I don't like that. And I'm going to put my title right here. I just got to think of what it's going to be. What is my title going to be? Flowers, maybe. Yes, I think that would be fun. So flowers is going to be part of it. Oh, I know. It's going to say flower love. So see how these will be pretty on here. 
I think this craft and then I'm going to show you how I feel like then we have to tie it in somewhere else. Oh, I changed my not mind. It's going to be floral. Floral love. Floral or something like that. Okay. So I'm not sticking these down and just kind of throwing them on for now because I'll probably pop a couple of them up and maybe layer it like that. But I'm digging it. And now I feel like when I can get my sewing machine to work that I want a thread that looks kind of like that. I'm going to stamp the clip. It's coming. I'm going to be putting the clip on the top of the photo. So that's coming. So this is what we're talking about. I'm going to get a piece of craft card stock and I'm totally stamping that. And I'm going to put it on top of the photos. So it's coming. You already read my mind. So it will be something like this. Like that. Floral. And then I'll put another a subtitle. Let's find a piece of craft card stock. Because I should have scraps of it everywhere. It is one of my favorites. Walking away, friends, to grab a piece of craft. Please be here and I don't have to go far, far away to grab it. No, no, no. Yay, found a piece. I don't know what this paper is. It's super thick but it matches perfectly. Do you love it? How are you guys doing friends? So this, I'm moving away for a minute. Let's stamp this. These stamps, they've changed them. So the patterns are awesome, but they are not very sticky. So just make sure you clean them really well when you're done using them because it is what it is. I don't have much say over it, but I will tell you that right now. They're not the stickiest, but I love this. And we'll do two of them. And I'm going to show you something else we're going to do because I feel like it needs it. Okay. So love this. That is a fun stamp. But we need to put a little bit of marking on it. So I'm going to grab Tim Holtz's favorite color of Distress Ink and find something I can just do this on. So for right now, it's just going to be the back of my, because that's what we do. Just grab what you have. Oh, do you want me to bring the camera down closer, friends? Sorry, it's probably hard to see what I'm doing because I lifted it. Sorry for the little Blair Witch. But that's probably better. Is that better, friends? Yay! So yes, so friends, if you ordered um, Color Study and you are looking or liking some of these add-ons, I'll be putting some of this in the store. Okay, so just watch for it. It will be in there. So if you're like, oh, I like that one and you have your order coming anyway and you think you might want some of these things, just keep watching. It's coming. Or if you have your local scrapbook store that you are putting an order in for, just let them know, oh, I love this. I want this stamp too. Oh, look at this is too much work. Just kiss it. Just kiss it. And we need the heat gun so I can cut this out and add it. 
But yeah, there will be, there's a bunch of stuff. I ordered so many different stamp sets. I can't wait to start using them. I bought the washi to put in my store from the Jen Hatfield line. That is the rainbow plain washi. It's so freaking awesome. I just was in open the box today. So adding just that little bit of tone on tone will uh, make this a little bit more interesting. And I'd probably tap one more layer on top. Just kind of gives it that tea dyed look. And makes it a little bit more interesting. See friends? And we'll do one more. Where did I put it in here? I don't remember if this is the one that's in the kit or not. It's listed online, friends. Uh, I don't know if it's this stamp. I think it's, I think it's this one. I think this one might be in it. I don't remember. I wrote that the ins the um, info for that so long ago. It's this. I think it's this one. I don't know. Is anybody um, handy that can look? on vickybooten.com and see if that's the case. I don't remember. I'm kissing it again just because I don't like how loose that looks. There. Good enough. I think this is the one that's in the color study kit. I believe it is. I will have both of them online, but I think this is the one. It make this makes sense if it is because I just think there's lots we can do with it. But I don't remember. Yes, it is. Thank you, Janet. So yes, this is in your kit. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out. And I know why you guys miss the dies because the dies are so much fun. It would just be so easy, but it's the pricing. And stampers will buy the dies and totally see um, the value in it. But a lot of um, scrapbookers who aren't stampers, I think the sets get too pricey and people don't buy them. But once you've used the dies that coordinate with your stamp sets, oh my goodness, I think it's heaven. So you know what I'm going to do, and I'll do it after. But for sure, I have to punch. I need a hole punch because I need a hole under the middle of that. Oh, and you could tie some twine in it if you wanted to, friends, too. That might look, or some thread. We could put some thread through the opening in the... Um, top of this right but that needs to come out but I'd have to get up again and I will do it later because I don't want you guys to get annoyed with me so do you remember I have the gold um, glaze out here and I'm going to show you because I think I'm going to elevate a little bit with the gold glaze because I think that that will make it not look as flat or if you don't have gold glaze, you could totally tie in a little bit of this vintage photo somewhere, maybe with a script stamp. Okay. It's fun, right? I love it. Um, I did order extra. So if you did not get the um, kit, the Vicki Booten color study kit for me. I did order. I th maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I'm saying that now, but oh, look how fun that is, friends! And now, do you see? We just made a visual triangle. And then we'll have. I'll put a subtitle here. Foam dots. Where are you? I use so many here. <laughs> They're right here, Vicki. Um, foam dots, it's not even funny. So I am also cheap and I don't want to use two foam dots. So I will do this, but I feel like it needs a little lift. When I stick it down, that'll be good. Yeah. 
I think it will be. If not, I linked it. I linked the stamp set at um, in the description of this uh, live. And you can order it from, and I am very appreciative if you follow the links that I added, because that is my share sale link. Um, you can get it from scrapbook.com or cherry on top. I did link them. Okay. So you get, I'm not sticking it down yet, but now I'm going to go on. Okay. Watch this going to drive you crazy, but see, do to do. Take them off your photo though, Vicki. And here's my idea that I feel needs this. Did anybody just scream when I did this? <laughs> but after I placed everything and then just threw it all on the table and I'll show you why. Uh, I'm going to put some gold down here and I just stencils here. bubbles too much floral linear oh I like that no I lied that's what I'm going with dots love it perfect was meant to be I'm going to slide it under here and I'm going to use some of my gold glaze and I'm going to add some gold dots in here because I think it will ground this layout beautifully is the color study kit sold out? It is right now, Miss Robin, but I do will have extra kits. You're just, you will just have to be diligent about watching when it gets posted. But until I fulfill the ones that I have outstanding, um, I don't know exactly yet. Okay. Um, but I will, I will, I did order extra. I've had a couple people that asked if they could cancel their order because they've had some life stuff happen and you know what I'm like, like, of course you can. Cause I know there's enough interest in it that I can easily, I'm just using this packaging. Um, I can sell it to somebody else. Like one was just up there uh, just recently when it was listed again. So I'm going very thin on this sheet of plastic with some gold glaze. Okay. And then I'm going to take my stencil brush and this is all Vicky Booten product. And they, I love this. This is these glazes, freaking one of the best products. You know, not all mixed media that I do is has been the best. The glazes and the art crayons to me are awesome. So I loaded my stencil brush, and now I'm going to randomly add some gold dots, and I'm going to even put some up underneath a little bit. And then I'll move my stencil and do you see, Ooh, I love it. So look at, take your mister and mist it a little bit when that starts to dry up on you. And then lightly go in here and add some more dots and move your stencil around so it's not just one solid polka dot. exactly what we needed I don't know how much we're gonna see of this I might need to add some that go off the page a little bit but I love that that makes me happy a little bit of sparkle and then friends to clean your stencil brush because you don't want to leave the glaze in it mist mist with water go on your paper towel and just do that till no pigments coming off and it's good you don't submerse these in water you don't need to add soap that's all you need to do to clean it or you could do it on a baby wipe okay when if it is super wet wrap it tight in a paper towel and just leave it to dry and i always clean my stencils right away because if you let mediums you will find some mixed media artists don't clean any of their products and that's fine i just find that um if you leave mediums on here it will start to clog up the pattern and you lose the integrity of the design so i just clean my stencils if you don't have everything handy to clean them right away put them in uh little bucket of water 
or stack them in wet paper towels, but I clean the stuff. It's personal preference. What is a gold glaze called again? Gold glaze. It is called Creative Effects Gold Glaze. Um, I don't know. You can try to find it. I will link it wherever, but I don't think it's on scrapbook.com. I don't know if they're going to reorder it. I know that American Crafts is discontinuing a lot of my products like that. So um, I will try to fight for it again. I have a couple of times fought for it and they've brought it back. I've got them to order it. But I'm going to fight for the glazes. The glazes and the art crayons. I said that. The glazes, art crayon, and stencil brush. If that's, I will fight for those things because they are my favorite, right? But um, the other things, there's no guarantee. Okay, I'm going to clip. Do I want to clip that down yet? I don't know. But we'll start again where we were. But I'm loving that gold. And now let's do some of the flowers again that I just took off. Yay. So I changed this around a little bit, didn't I? How are we doing out there? There's still some of you sticking around. They need to understand how long they last. We're all going to need them again soon. I know. So here's the thing, friends, if I can get them out again. And the other thing that is super helpful, if you shop on scrapbook.com, a super helpful thing is to leave um, reviews and comments on the product because people read that stuff. Like it's, I know um, it's super, super helpful. And you know what you're like. I read re reviews all the time before I bite the bullet or make a purchase. I want to know what people say. If it's clothing, like how does it fit? Is it true to size? So, and the other thing, if um, I would never leave a bad review if I ordered, say I ordered gold glaze and um, I put a review where um, I meant to order silver. So I only gave it one star. Why, that has nothing to do with the product, right? I always, when I'm reading reviews, I'm like, well, why would you give this a bad review? Because that matters. Like that will affect its sales if the reason you didn't like it is because you ordered the wrong color. I, that is the weirdest thing to me, don't you think? Like what's that have to do with the quality of the product? I ordered the wrong one, so I only gave it one star. Okay. Loving this. Well, it is. And then it just brings because you'll see what the overall um, uh, the overall reviews are and you'll think, OK, this product's crap. And then if you read further that it only has a couple of stars and you're like, oh, it only has a couple of stars because um, the person left a, a bad review because they ordered the wrong color. And you're like, OK, I've had that on some of my products on there. It's like, um, or on HSN or whatever. They didn't, I don't know how to use it. So they give it a bad review. I'm like, well, there's enough content out there. I'll help you use it. But I don't want somebody else to not buy it because they think it's garbage. When that's not necessarily the case. It's just, you know, it wasn't your cup of tea or whatever. What do you think, friends? I'm digging it. Okay, let's com let's commit. So I switched stuff. Did you notice that? So look at I'm not committing yet because this went the other way because my title won't fit now. <laughs> How many times have I done this to you guys tonight where I uh, just disassemble the layout for the second time? But it's okay. It will still work. Put that underneath. I think like. That. There. But it's for real. I don't whip these off in two minutes. I do not. These layouts always take a long time. Leaves. I'll put leaves as well once I get my flowers done. It's always the last thing I do. Okay. And I'm going to put this one under and that over. And that's tying in my pink. I really love this color. 
So let's do something like this. And they can go up in here a little too. Okay. But it is super, super helpful. It's no different with me um, bugging you all to leave a thumbs up and all that stuff on the video because I know that it makes a difference too. It's how people find us. Because like, look, it will be on here and it'll be like, oh, first time catching a live or what are you doing tonight? Or that's really fun. And it grows the community. Um, and it helps when I put all these time, the time into the lives is to help to grow the page is super helpful to me. Super helpful. Balancing it out. Let's make this work. And our title's going to go here is what our plan was, right? And our clips. I love the clips on the craft. I think I will be making a whole bunch. I will do that and then just make my own um, ephemera right? Stamp a bunch of stuff and then just leave it. So it's like you have your own ephemera. That's how I had it before. I lost my R. Oh, I found my R. How many times have I torn my layout apart tonight though? probably freaking some of you guys out like oh my gosh what is she doing but I like to um, stack my thickers too I'm very excited friends because we are I'm almost finished um, my collection for the fall we are just finishing up. I think we have a couple papers, but all of the thickers, stickers, tag book, lots of fun stuff coming out. Um, I love your glazes. Could you stamp with them? Sure you can. Just got to clean your stamp really well right away. And um, they work on the gel plate amazingly. I will be sharing that this summer when we do that online class. And remember, we talked about gel plate printing, friends. And when I do that class, if you don't own a gel plate, I am going to do a couple of starter kits where I will include like a brayer and um, some paints and a few different things. So a starter kit with the um, gel plate. And we will be using the eight by 10 size because I like that it fits on eight and a half by 11 paper. And then I will also sell kits where I give you a really great deal on eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 paper, some stencils, and then the class will, cause you don't have to buy any of it. If you want to just buy the access to the class for the four week, like the photography class, you can totally do that too. But I think it will be fun if um, I do some exclusive Vicky Booten stencils. And, oh, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to do that with you guys. Even if you are a gel plate user already, I think there will be value in it. Um, just some of the fun stuff we're going to do. But if you're like, what is she talking about? What is this gel plate she's speaking of? Is uh, printmaking which is my favorite thing. And it actually has become very popular. I'm seeing a lot of the card makers are doing a lot of um, printmaking where it was mostly like you'd see mixed media people doing it, that it's becoming really popular in the card community, which I love. It's going to be fun. I just have to get through these kits and then there will be one more kit I will have for sale, which is a combination of the um, simple story travel line 
and uh, the Jen Hadfield line. And then once that one is sold, that is going to need a little extra. I always add adhesive on my thickers. I don't find the um, stick factor is good enough. So I always don't trust adhesive on anything and just back it up with a little bit extra. Very fun. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to commit this guy here. Almost because it's not. I'm still going to sew on this though, friends. So I have to figure some of that out. Let's stick her down. We are going to commit. Good night, Christina. I know this is a long one tonight, isn't it? Thanks for sticking around as long as you have. I'm almost done as much as I'm going to do tonight, and then I will post the finish. That. That works for me. Are we, am I missing anything, friends? Your Valentine's that you did on the gel plate. I love it. Is something happening on here? Did you say that you had to switch to your laptop? Were you having issues? Is that the same color? Yes. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And this still, this L is not sticking very well. I might need. Is anyone making with me tonight? Or are you just watching or creating something else? Did you answer that already and I just ignored you? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are working or if you um, are doing something else or just hanging out at this point because now it's late. It's curious always if people are crafting or just hanging out. What are you doing out there, Natalie? Are you still here or is this too late now? I know Nat stays up. She's a night owl like I am but she also probably has 12 million projects she's working on. You're creating. I love it. Well, yes, because I did see the work that you had done already, Irene. You had shared your um, that you had fussy cut and you got a bunch of the stuff done in your background. So I love it. That I'm trying to squeeze in like that. You're still hanging. You're still hanging in. I love it. Yeah, that needs to move over. Like that. Oh, I love it. Natalie is working on some new releases for Ulta New. One of my all-time favorite stamp companies. If you are not familiar with them, you need to be. Um, if you like florals, I need that floral layering die that you were working with, Natalie. I need to get that ordered. Absolutely phenomenal. Good company, great people. Oh, I told you guys I was going to punch the centers out, and I didn't do it. I lied. Yay. It's coming together.
I ordered a whole bunch of adhesive, which I'm going to need because I am wrecking my adhesives tonight. Wreck this one. How are we doing? <laughs> You're a night hawk too? I am. I, I telling you though, um, I am old now, so sometimes I can't stay up as late. I've been trying to go to bed earlier. Well, too, if you haven't heard me say it 12 million times tonight, I have so much work to do lately that, but I don't know. Anybody else like me, you get up in the morning, I start doing stuff, and I don't sit down to start working till way too late. Like, I start at like one o'clock and even though I'm up at eight and showered and ready to go I find stuff around the house distracts me and I start messing around doing stuff like in the laundry room or whatever and then I sit down to work and then everybody wants to be fed and I just find you just ordered all the stuff you could yes for sure beautiful 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 I love Ulta New and Natalie really rocks it. She's very good. She's very good, just period. Amazing crafter. Is everything glued? So what are you thinking so far, friends? I'm totally digging this. We need something down here. So the other thing, remember, I told you I grabbed. Let me grab over there just a second. So Storyteller could work really well here because it has a lot of craft and gold in it okay so i just grabbed some old stencils and stuff like i have i don't think i need it but if i wanted to use it right i could put that in there if i wanted to tie some of the yellow in don't feel like i need it but let's go floral and is there anything So I could put something like this. Floral, you have all of my heart. I kind of dig it. I'm putting that on there. Because for titles, right? A lot of times, whatever, it works. And then I'm going to layer something else with it. But I see. And like I just told you guys, I will still add more adhesive. Because floral really does have all of my heart. I love it in my clothing. I love it in my garden. I like that tying that in there. What else is on here? Anything? Oh, we could add some butterflies if we wanted to, but I don't think so. I, I'm kind of liking my tone on tone. And let's look at the, let's visit the leaves because I told you let's see do we want the leaves or not we'll try it and see so we'll try it and then we're almost done and then I could tie some of that green in as well so I think cracked pistachio I'm liking tonally with these peaches So what do you say? Yeah, I read at night before and I am. Yeah. Oh, well, forget it. If I find a good book. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It is a little too cartoony. So let's see if this one is better. Might be a little richer. Should have cleaned my stamp off first, but I didn't. So we're fine. I love the stamp. Isn't that fun? So that was Evergreen Bow, which I like with this color palette. I also will take a little bit of it. Because look at, just use what you have and put a couple drips on because these are too clean. Doop doo.
Kissy, kissy. You know who we haven't seen here in a long time? Sharon, my friend Sharon. Shanasty. We actually, I find a lot of people, I wonder now with COVID times, that a lot of the people who joined us must be doing other stuff because they haven't been on the lives, but just sitting here thinking about it. Like who hasn't been here for a while? So I just ink those up a little bit. Okay. Let's give them a blast. I'm going to fussy cut them. And you watch. I think that this little bit of green is going to make the world of a difference. The clips, yes, Karen, I do too. I love the craft and that we have this little visual triangle going on. And we will cut these leaves out. More fussy cutting. I'm sure you're so excited to watch me cut leaves. But, and I stamp these in oxide, okay, friends? Just because it's a little bit more opaque. Uh, I'm excited. You watch. I'm hoping now that you see we've done all this work and you guys have spent all this time with me that you're going to start seeing this come together. I don't care about the ends because they're going to be in there anyway, but watch what will start happening. It's going to be that little bit that we need. So you know how I'm an enabler and like I'll say, oh, you need this or buy this sweater or you need these earrings or buy this cereal. The one thing I would say that I buy tons of is flower stamps because um, I just think there's tons of bang for the buck, right? Hello, Sharissa from Illinois. Love your background from yesterday. And now the layout's coming together. And I've only been doing this for 12 hours. <laughs> Maybe not that long, but I talk a lot. So I probably would scrapbook a lot faster if I was here by myself and not on the live. Talking, talking, talking away instead of fussy cutting faster. But yes, uh, flower stamps. I can never have too many flower stamps, stencils. And these might move around, but I'm just adding some in. But now do you th find that the green is bringing our focal point into the into the floral um, and into our photos instead of where it was all very tonally flat? This and the craft is making it pop. What is the ideal size for a gel plate? Depends what you do. I would say that I love my 12 by 12 if I'm doing full backgrounds, but I love the eight by 10. Like if I was gonna start somewhere and I could only buy one, um, I'd do the eight by 10 because you can use it for cards, right? You can use it for cards. Um, you can still use it for backgrounds and just be smaller backgrounds, but um, yes. Uh, that's what I would say. I don't know if there's an ideal size. It depends what you're using it for. If you are a card maker, you might only need a small one, but I like, I love the eight by 10. When I teach gel plate classes, that's the one I recommend that people get, uh, because it fits on eight and a half by 11, because we pull so many prints when we're gel plate printing that, um, it gets very pricey to kit 12 by 12, right? So if I can give everyone a full paper pack of good 110 weight um, white cardstock, which is what we'll use, and I will order a ton of it. And you guys, I'll put it up in the store because it'll be cheaper through me than what you would get at Michael's or wherever you would buy it. Um, but it makes it really helpful. Yay. I love the leaves. Love it. 
I wish I had two leaf sizes though, I have to say. Um, usually in my stamp sets, we'll put more than one, but it's full of all that magic. I love this stamp set. So this stamp set is with Color Study. And I think we confirmed, is this the one you guys get in your kit? I buy a lot of word quote stamps, yeah. Oh, uh, and Tim's red rubber, you can never go wrong with red rubber stamps, right? I wanted something up here but I don't like it because then it's just becoming a bubble. Mm, I like that kind of. So it goes with the F. Ooh, maybe like that. Maybe not. Oh, there. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna commit. Gonna commit. And then if you notice, I take them and I curl. Cause even when it goes in your page protector, that will still give you a little bit of something, something. So I'm gonna curl this one. It's gonna be popped up at the base. How do you get uh get on a list for your kits sandy you could for the storyteller um if you email me at vickybootenkits at gmail.com i can put you on a list for uh if there are extra kits when i'm i'm done which i know there will be i already know there's going to be a couple of extras anybody who lives close yes you can pick up because I will have people um, come and pick up kits. That works too. But yes, just email me. But for any of the other kits that I was talking about tonight, ooh, my tape burner's broken. Um, they haven't gone live yet. So uh, just make sure you're on my newsletter. You're signed up for my newsletter and you just do that on vickybooten.com. And um, I will send a newsletter out probably um, tomorrow or Sunday to let everybody know that the kits are going, what kits are going live, the prices, all of that stuff in the newsletter. So because people get very upset with me if I put them live and don't let them know that they're going to be on there because a lot of people will miss them because maybe you're working or, you know what I mean? You have something going on, but I think I'm going to list them on Monday and um, I will send a newsletter out to just inform everybody that that's happening. Okay. Yay. Love that friends. Totally, totally loving this. I don't love that. That's going to turn a little. digging it. I have one more that we could add if we wanted to. Let's see. So when I add stitching in here, it's going to add interest, right? And now I'm looking and I might even put green, some green stitches in there. I love scrapbooking. Um, just things change when your kids start to get older, right? You just don't have the photos you used to. I don't know if I need it. Maybe I kind of dig that. Yes, I like that. I will do it. Am I missing? Did anybody ask me anything or am I missing something? Yay. There we go. Totally digging that. And now, like I said, it needs the stitching on there. 
I like the tone on tone words. It will look really pretty when we put the stitching in there. Let's look if there's any other stuff that I want to add off my sticker sheet. Because these gold hearts could be kind of cool on here. Floral, you have all my heart. I don't know. That's I know it's kind of weird. This is weird, but it's good. Love this. Just decide, do I want some of those in there? No. Yes. I like that. That will work. So you notice a lot of my stickers, I like to use like chipboard. So I'm going to try to find my favorite tool that I have listed in my store. If they're sold out, they'll be back in there is my powder tool, my EK success powder tool, because I like to take the stick off my sticker when I'm going to put foam dots on it. So it doesn't buckle and stick to the page where I don't want it to. Do you see my foam dots? There they are. In rainbow, yes. Yes, this we could totally copy this design and do it again in multiple things, right? I think that would be fun. I wish we had all the time in the world to do all of the things. Seriously, because I would be doing all the things. Love this. I like that. I like the little bit more black that ties in these. There, I love it. This L I think is still not sticking very well, but. So things that we'll look at. Let's see if I can find it. I'm gonna show you the one thing I feel like we need to finish this. Give me a second, walking away for a minute. You had to run to take a picture at the beach for your son's school, but you're back. Yes, they can be refilled. See, it opens. See, it says open. I love this thing and I love it for embossing. It takes, you'll see Jennifer McGuire, a lot of them use that tool, the card makers. I'm coming, I'm coming right back. Just give me a second. Where are you? I'm just getting some kind of glitter glue. I just don't know. I've organized my room, so now i got to figure out where I put all of the things. Where did you put it, Vicki? I really wish I had a gold one. Is there a good gold glitter glue? Of course I don't have any gold. I have green. Well, look. Will I use that? I don't know. Okay, let's look. Because I feel like the flowers need some pretty. I'm going to do this. Maybe. This stickles. This one is called Mercury Glass. I grabbed the green too. So let's see. Is it clogged? Of course it is, because I want to use it. I need to see if I have a pin. Because isn't that the way things go? I tell ya. Hoping that will work. Yeah, that worked. So this is my last step for tonight, okay? I'm going to go in now, and I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. I'm going to put a couple of... dots in these flowers. Oh, 
and Vicki hates what she just did there. So she's going to try to scoop it up, wipe it off, do it again. And throw that in my little thingy. My glue dot was, they got stuck together. So the mercury glass is working beautiful, beautiful, beautifully, because it's tying in with that craft color. Just watch when you do them that you don't stick your hand in it. And I will show you closer. It looks, this is exactly what this layout needed. I'm really glad I got a, had a color that worked. Know when to step away. Sorry, what is the bottle? This is Stickles. So it's glitter glue. It's a Ranger product, and the color here is Mercury Glass. And it looks like a glitter version of the craft. So watch when you look closer. Do you see now? You just watched this come together now. That that is, don't you agree? It's exactly what this layout needed and the color actually works perfect. So when they dry, they will keep some of their dimension because it is a dimensional glue with glitter in it. And uh, that color just worked out perfectly. And it's a Ranger product as well. What do you think, friends? I think that's what it needed, right? Very happy with this. When I add the stitching in on here, it is going to pull, because this is a little flat right now, it's going to pull in exactly what this layout needs, right? A little bit of stitching. And then it's done, and I'm very happy with it. Now, you will notice, is will I uh, journal on here? No. <laughs> Could you? Yes, you would have just maybe left another open spot. But for me, a lot of times, I don't... This These photos were not taken at the same place. This was in Utah. This was in my backyard. And I don't really have a story to tell with this. I don't really need to date it. It just is pretty. So, um, of course, some layouts I do, would I would have some journaling possibly to write. But just know this. I'm going to say it right now. I am not a journaler. It's not my favorite thing to do. I will do it when I do like Allie Edward prompts and stuff because she is an awesome writer and she will prompt me and I'll think of cool things to write about. But for the most part, I'm all about the pretty stuff in the photos. I don't, this telling the story isn't my jam. Nothing wrong with it if it is yours because it's actually, you're probably a better memory keeper than I am. <laughs> but totally love that. Totally love this. I love how this turned out. Totally, when you sew on it, you watch. When I show the end result, it's it's going to be very awesome. Like, it, the sewing is going to make the difference. Not very awesome. Oh, look at my beautiful project. It's going to be very awesome. Okay, and I'm coming to say my good nights now. Yay! Okay. Flipping. You ready, friends? Hi! So love how that turned out. Gonna try not to put my finger in these now. Let's see if this you guys get can get a better view. So that is how it looks. And that's the top part. Doesn't it kind of look like um almost like the pictures are paintbrushes and those are like brush strokes? I just had another idea. So we're gonna remake a version of this layout. 
You know how Simone just said in rainbow colors? We're totally going to do it in rainbow. So I just need to remember that so I don't forget that. I want to remake a version of this layout in rainbow. Could we do that? Would anybody be sad if we did this again? Because I think sometimes the best thing is like scrap lifting yourself. Like when you come up with an idea that you really like, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Like you really could just go in and um, scrap lift yourself and just make it again. But that was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed spending this evening with you. I'm sure my husband's like, oh my goodness, are you ever going to spend any time with me? But yes, let's, somebody has to remind me <laughs> a rainbow version with paint brushes because that just came to my head. So I'm going to make a cut file. I, if Natalie's still here, Natalie, remind me. I'm going to make a cut file that looks like a paintbrush. We are going to use that paintbrush as our photo mats. And we're going to make a total rainbow version of this layout. Or whatever you want to do. But it's going to look like it's painted. That's going to be in the month of April. That'll be one of our nights. And we'll use art crayons this time. How about that? Right? Art crayons for it making notes. Don't you think that'll be fun? If even if it's one paintbrush, but I will do some kind of paintbrush cut file. Maybe even the brush strokes will be cut files, but I think that'll be fun because you could you could totally hand cut it if you wanted to as well, if you don't have a die cutting machine. But I think that that just is in my head when I was looking at that is that oh, those kind of look like paintbrushes. And then wouldn't it be cool if it was coming from the other angle? And then we did maybe even a swirl, like it's not, it won't be so linear. So it's in my head now. So I love it. We're going to redo a version of this with no flowers. We'll do something else, stars, like tons of stars or something, or circles, 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 paintbrush, rainbow. It's going to be in the month of April for Vicky's favorite things, celebrating my birthday month. Because even though I'm an old lady, I can still have a birthday month. So I, I talked about something last night that we needed to do too, right? Galaxy. So those are two of our Fridays so far. It's one is going to be a galaxy night. Um, maybe with like, um, with Northern lights in it, like that could be fun. So galaxy night, we're going to do a rainbow with a paintbrush die cut. And then we have to think of our other two nights, our other two Friday nights. But that was a lot of fun. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I've been doing this for four hours. So thank you for you guys that have stuck around. Thank you if you're watching it after the fact. Um, thank you if you have um, are liking my uh, Facebook artist page. If you have thumbed up this video and if you subscribed, you want to make sure that you're subscribing so you don't miss when I go live or I have a new video up. So thank you for all that. Thank you for um, spending time with me crafting and uh, sharing in what I love. And this community, you know, is another thing that I love. So this has been awesome. Have a great Easter weekend. Enjoy your family. Um, enjoy cooking or not cooking, if that's what you're going to do. Uh, take lots of pictures. Come over on the Vicki Booten Creative Community page on Facebook, our group page, and share your pictures of the weekend. I would love if you decorate eggs, post. Let's start a thread that shows um, your, your uh, egg decorating prowess. Or if you're creating this weekend, I'd love to see what you're creating. But come and share it with me. And uh, have a great night. I'm going to go watch a couple episodes of Game of Thrones and then... Uh, start the work again tomorrow. If you haven't already, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Lots of information is coming this weekend uh, for kits and all the other stuff, if that is something you're interested in. But otherwise, thanks so much. As always, guys, have a great weekend. Share whatever you've made as a result of yesterday's video, because this is a part two. So if you didn't catch the first part, make sure you find that. But I would love to see what you made with your photos on and if your sewing machine worked and make sure you link me uh, so I can come and give you lots of love. Okay. Thanks. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you later next Friday. Okay. Bye. Have a great week.